Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a Chainsaw Man surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Chainsaw Man surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to begin by lining up the corners and then giving it a nice fold right here. Then I'm going to line up the corners one more time and give it another fold right here. Next, when I open it up, I have these nice little guidelines that show me where to keep the inside of my drawings at. Now, the first step is let's begin with the curve part of Chainsaw Man's head. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to make a nice little curve line that comes right back here. Then I'm going to draw a nice little straight line here. This almost kind of looks like half a circle. Next, I'm going to come down and then out. I'm going to kind of come in and then out again and connect right here. Now, starting here, I'm going to make kind of like that little handle that he has. So I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and then I'm just going to curve this back down and around to here. I'm going to curve this right around. Make another line that's going to come out and then curve to here. And then a little line down. I'm going to put a small circle right over here. And then I'm going to add another circle right around it, but you can see it's not all the way around it. I kind of started here and then went down. We'll make a little line that's going to come out. We'll curve around and come up to here. And we'll do another one, just kind of do that same thing. Curve it around and then up to here. Make a little line that's going to come out, down, in, and down. They'll make kind of like a line that's going to go out and down to here. We'll make a little skinny rectangle shape here. We'll make a little line down. And then we'll make two lines down here. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line down. And then right over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a line that comes down. I'm going to draw a line down here as well. And then we're just going to connect this with a little line straight across. I'll make a skinny rectangle shape right here. And then I'll make a line that's going to come out and it's going to come in. We're going to bring this over and kind of curve it up. Next, I'll make a line that's going to go over and then up and then curve down. Next, I'm going to bring this line down and then in. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to come down, over, and then up. Make a line down here and then two lines across. I'll make a little skinny rectangle shape here. And then I'll make a line that's going to curve down. And then another line that's going to curve down. I'll make a line that's going to come up, down, and then to here. 
We'll make a line over here. Make a little line here, and a line's gonna come down. This will be the neck, and this will be part of the shirt. We'll make a little line right here, too. Now for the handle back here, let's go out and down. Then we're gonna come down and in. We'll do that same thing, we'll go out, come up, and then bring it in for the handle. I'm gonna make a bunch of little lines in here for all the different parts of his neck. And then we'll make a couple more little kind of like square shapes in here. You can make some lines that come up just for some little details back here. Now for the teeth, I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna make lines gonna come up and then I'm just going to go down and these kind of triangle shaped teeth. I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna curve up. It's gonna come down and back. Do another one here. And I'll do one more right here. Make these come out a little farther. Next, I'm gonna draw the chainsaw. So we're just gonna draw a line that's gonna come out. It's gonna curve around and come back to here. I'll draw that same shape right inside of here. And then I'm just going to make some little spikes all the way around here. So I'm just gonna put some little spikes all the way across here. Now, once we have this, we wanna open it up and work on the inside. After we open up, we have two halves of our Chainsaw Man. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this line all the way down here. And then I'm going to bring this line all the way down here. Then I'll connect the handle and I'll connect this handle here. Now in here, I'm just gonna add some kind of different curved geometric shape things all around here, just to kind of make it look like it's very mechanical in here. You kind of do this however you want to, but there's all sorts of uh, just simple different ways you can make this. You don't have to go too crazy with it, but I just like to add some different little shapes and stuff in here just to kind of make this look a little bit more mechanical just because Chainsaw Man is part chainsaw, so we can just add some different little shapes and stuff in here just to kind of make it look a little bit more creative. Now the next step is I want to work on the teeth. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to make this line come down and up. I'm going to make this line come down and up this one here, and this one. And then I'm gonna make more teeth behind here because Chainsaw Man has lots of sharp teeth. I'll do the same thing up here. I'm gonna bring this up and down and bring this one up and down. We'll make some more sharp teeth here and we'll do the same thing right in between here. Now starting here, I'm gonna make a wavy curved line for his tongue. And then I'm going to bring this back. I'll put a couple little curves on it like this. And there you go, there is your drawing of a Chainsaw Man surprise fold. Now you could always add some extra stuff in here if you wanna put like Pochita coming out of here, maybe one of his villains, there's lots of different things. But I'm just gonna keep it simple. So when we have it all folded up, we have our simple Chainsaw Man, and then when we open it up, he's got his mouth open, ready to attack. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.